Okay. You know what? Um, let's just build up uh, strength and stamina. Uh, hopefully that means I can just do those obstacles faster. Um, and we're going to grind um, focus and speed also a little bit. But um, uh, I got to do this. I haven't stopped. I got to eat lunch at some point. But I, I could do this. <laughs> this is going to be it. This is the season. I'm not waiting until season 5 to do this. I'm getting back to the final stage right away. Oh. That's weird. Apparently... The Devil Steps gives you focus? Interesting. Where is it? Let's try a, a course of just... Devil... S Devil... Where is it? Oh! Oh, great. The devil steps are missing. That thing that I just bought is now missing. Oh, wait. Oh, there's the broken bridge alternative. My bad, I, I accidentally... Um... Although it's worth mentioning, devil step's still missing. Why is everything missing? Oh my god. The obstacles just going in and out and missing is just the worst. I'm sorry. It's so... It's so bad. Oh my... Oh. Because that actually affects gameplay. Like, I want to do four uh, devil steps. And apparently I can't. So, I don't know. Screw me, I guess. But yeah, apparently... Uh, the Devil Steps gives you strength, stamina, and focus, which is nice. All right, uh, this is where my stats currently are after a bunch of training. And now let's do the Step Up Challenge and get uh, 500 easy dollars. Um, at this point, I don't think there's any actual need for me to... Um, uh, to to spend money on obstacles because honestly I don't because like what's left uh, the broken bridge alternative and the double salmon ladder and the ultimate cliffhanger like I don't need to buy any of those really because like I doubt the double salmon ladder like unless it gives you focus in addition to um speed and stam uh, sorry, not speed, strength and stamina. I don't think there's a reason to do it. I think what I might just do at this point is just go back to putting money into working out. That way, uh, I don't have to like hoard my money, and I could just get through the a lot of stuff quicker. Because right now it's like with training, I still can only do uh, four stamina at a time, you know. And so I just got to focus on uh, building up the stats at this point. But even though, like, I mean, the biggest thing going against me is not necessarily the stats, but just my ability to clear the course uh, and my button presses. Um, and so 500 easy dollars. And so I just got to try to decide, it's like, do I want to focus on building up strength and stamina or speed and focus I'm trying to think because like getting 8 speed that's pretty good but should I just dump money into just working out now at this point because I got I got some money I'm just going to dump money because I'm, I'm kind of tired of the training too <laughs> and uh, as nice as uh, some of the bonuses are I, it's still faster right now for the most part uh, except for speed uh, to cause eight speed in a single day. That's crazy. Um, although, I mean, I'm doing four and four, so technically, I mean, there's that too, now that I think about it out loud, but, um, yeah, I'll just train some more. 
All right, let's do the super wall flip and uh, get another easy $500, which um, I need to decide if I'm going to just dump money into working out or if I'm just uh, going to train more. We'll see. We'll see, because I'm getting tired of training. <laughs> just just paying for the stat boost just makes things so much easier. Even though it's like, with training, I can get five more total, but at the same time, it's like... I, I, I really just don't want to do this anymore. I really just don't want to do this anymore. So, let's Today's see. Let's see Hold if I can do it. Really Should I even bother switching to pro? I'll switch to pro. I'll do it. Switch to pro. This is a very difficult obstacle. Ooh. Apparently I was uh, slow on button mashing. We need to fix that. I don't want that happening anymore. Let's see if I can finish this with more than 10 seconds left. I mean, it's going to be tough. But I want to see if I can do it. With my stat boosts and all that. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Let's hit it with more than 10 seconds left. More than 10 seconds left. And yes! Yes, I did. Oh, it's totally possible to do this with more than 10 seconds left on the clock. That is good. First place. Easy first place. Give me that $500, please. Thank you very much. And now, we train more before we get back to the qualifiers. Oh, good. Now it's uh, letting me do the devil steps again. Although I noticed the uh, alternative broken bridge is uh, MIA. But yeah, with this, I'll be able to do four strength, four stamina, and four focus. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, no, I'm stupid. I just realized it's the flying bar that does uh, three different things. Oh, right, right, right. I literally just, you know what? Whatever, let's just build focus and stamina. Not focus and speed at this time, I don't care. Let's, let's just try to get through this quickly. <laughs> let's just do a quick training. Okay, wow, I'm dumb. All right, so it's it was the flying bar that gives you the three stats. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. That makes sense. I was just being dumb. Oh my goodness, but the flying bar is so slow. Oh, I cannot imagine. I tried doing four in a row and that did not work out. Uh, just doing four in a row would just be so tedious. Because you got to do 16 of those transfers. Ugh. Ugh. I guess it's worth it because it's worth so much uh, value. I don't know why the quad steps are worth so much, though, in terms of how much you get. It's so bizarre. But whatever. I don't question it. Just gotta build up the stats. Bring me to 96. Yeah, I believe that should bring me to 96 for speed. Which is weird. You know, all this time talking about, oh, you know, speed's not that important. But, like, now I'm just like, eh, let's just build up speed. I don't care. Whatever. What am I at? Yeah, 96 speed. Stamina, strength, and focus are pretty good. Stamina and focus almost in the 80s. I mean, I don't know, like, realistically, like, I don't know how much higher I really need to go. It's just a matter of if I can do the final stage correctly. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. I mean, you could totally beat this, uh, the final stage before you get to Season 5. I think I just messed up too much. 
next time I get to final stage, I'm just not talking. I'm just focusing, and that's it. Just putting everything else out of my mind. Because I gotta do it. I gotta do this. I'm starting to get hungry, too. Ugh. I'm Matt Eisman, and I'm Akbar Bajabia Miller. American I've been playing Warriors this game for about two and a half hours now, straight. Obviously, there would have been, you know, editing involved. Uh, that was done intentionally. Because I can only... I can only say so much about all the training aspect of this game. Oh, wow. What are you climbing there, buddy? <laughs> I would love to know what you were trying to climb there. Oh, this game never ceases to amaze with his bugs sometimes. But, oh well, let's see what happens now. Just gonna get through this. So far, so good. And then, Broken Bridge. So in this season, Broken Bridge appears in four of the six courses. Just want to point that out, just how ridiculous that is. Ooh, that actually might have been fast enough to be able to fail the warped wall and not have to work. Hit it, hit the button! By the looks of it right now, he doesn't even look like he's tired. Jesus, he would not hit the button. Second overall, I want to see how fast I would have had to gone to still move on. 46? Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm convinced that the whole top 10 thing is a farce. I'm convinced at this point it's a giant farce. Because, like, I I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Ninth and 10th place will always have a time faster than yours to the war to wall at this point. Because that is ridiculous. I'm sorry. That is just ridiculous. Ugh. Alright. Um, let's do... We're going to max out speed by doing two quad steps. And then uh, let's... Take a chance. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's literally not what I wanted. But, ah, you know what? Whatever. Um, we're going to put two... Okay, hold on. I selected this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's putting them in the wrong spot now. It's not even putting the obstacles in the spot I want them to put it in. It's just automatically... Because I'm selecting... I'm not selecting the first spot, but it's putting the obstacles automatically in the first spot. Holy crap! This game! What is wrong with this game? It is amazing! The new ways I find... ...bugs in this game. But then again, what do I expect from the people who proudly publish big rigs over the road racing, even though they try to hide it these days? I'm just not going to let that go. Like, and you know what? I, this is partially on NBC's fault, too. I'm putting the part of the blame on NBC, because it's like, they're the ones who approved this game. They sold the license for this game to Game Mill. Uh, maybe Game Mill was the only people who was willing to make this game, but like... The NBC deserves part of the blame for this, because they approved this game. At some point, they said this was okay. So, this is on them, also, with just the amazing quality of this game. Ah, oh, Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Ugh. I'm just... Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot the order of which these obstacles were added in on the list. Because it wasn't the order that I added them on on when I was making the training course. But they felt the need to do it anyway. And it's like, come on, man. Come on. 
This is unbelievable. This is just unbelievable. By the way, if if anyone's ever moved on, I'm, I'm just going to keep reiterating this. If anyone's ever moved on from the qualifiers or finals without completing the whole course, just tell me. I don't mean using that cheating way, but just tell me normally if you did it the normal way. Because I, at this point, I'm convinced you have to complete the course. And they're just straight up lying about the whole uh, making you think that you can fail the course and still move on thing. So there we go. I have max speed somehow. Oh my goodness. Plus four focus, plus two strength, plus two stamina. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Time for the buggy game. <laughs> Let's just see what happens at this point. I'm just like, you know what? I don't I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I really don't. Uh I'll just get some money and be like whatever. I think I think putting money into working out is most beneficial for right before an event. When you're like, I need to focus on this one stat. and Because getting five, because oh, with the exception of speed in that very bizarre configuration of... of I wonder if he's ever attempted an obstacle this intense before. Um, uh, it's still, you know, five is more than four, basically. It's probably worth it to some degree. Well, you can hear and see the... Oh, nope. Nope. Nope, there was eight seconds left. I only got six seconds left now, so thanks, guys. I don't... I don't understand why I can't... Ooh! Ooh, his head was through the uh, thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, boy. I knew it! I knew it! I knew that's how you crash the game! I knew it! If you fail after... Time runs out on the super broken bridge. That is what causes it to fail. To crash. I knew it. I knew that's how you're going to do it. I tried. I'm going to admit. I After I knew I couldn't beat the event. I tried going for it. And tried crashing the game. And I successfully crashed the game. Doing it the way that I thought I could do it. So yeah. Anu that's a repeatable bug. That is... A bug that, if you wanted to, you could execute uh, if you timed it uh, well enough. This game sucks! Also, I like that the music is still so freaking loud on the title screen, even when you go into options and you're like, turn it off. And now, and what's also great about this game is that in order to select your character, you have to wait for it to load. But not just wait for that to load, you have to wait for it to load all the other characters before you can actually press A and select it. Which means, as you play uh, uh, career mode more and more, the more characters you make, the longer you have to wait before you can select your character. Which is... So... Amazingly poor. That's what this game is. Amazingly poor. What am I at right now? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to put money into stamina. I don't care. I don't feel like working out and doing the training. I don't feel like training. I feel like work. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Just do it. Just build up the stamina. If I really want to, and I don't know if I actually do, I can do four. Um, <laughs> I can do four flying bars in a row and basically get four stamina, four strength, and four uh, focus. I don't know if I'm going to do that because that's a lot. That's asking a lot for me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going. To, I could do that. I could do that. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Or maybe I'll just put money into working out because I don't care about unlocking the rest of the obstacles because I really doubt that anything else is going to be that useful uh, other than the flying bar because um, I don't think I don't think there's going to be any other obstacle that gives me three uh, more than three I'm points. 
and I'm Akbar Baja Biamilla. We've got some of the best ninjas. Maybe, maybe the double salmon ladder. That's the only one I think maybe could give you more. Um, maybe the ultimate cliff. I feel like you should. If if the ultimate cliffhanger is worth ten, you ten thousand dollars. You know what? You probably get some pretty decent stat bonuses from it. And he is through the floating steps. Now this is the moment of truth. Oh shoot. He'll be thinking about that one tomorrow. Okay. Bit scary, but whatever. Got to work. All right, got to focus on this one too. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. So strong, plenty of energy left. All right, good, good, good. Okay. Whoo. Ooh, I scared myself for a second there. All right. Like I was saying, though, like, the ultimate cliffhanger is worth 10 grand. It has to be worth good. It has to be good for training, you know? Because why, why else would it be worth $10,000? Because there's other Vegas-only obstacles that are worth 5 grand. But why is the ultimate cliffhanger 10 grand? It's got to be because it's worth good stat bonuses. So... Maybe that's worth saving for. Maybe. Maybe not. But maybe it is. Who knows? Man, I am tempting fate on that rope jump every single time. But whatever. Whatever works. Alright. I probably don't need to, but I'm just going to build up my stamina. Just so I can guarantee that I will be once again moving on to Las Vegas for the national finals on the grammatically incorrect Mount Midoriyama course. Where hopefully I will once again be able to beat stages 1, 2, and 3 and once again attempt the final stage in my quest to become an A&W Grand Champion and win $25,000 as opposed to the million dollars that the show actually promises. <laughs> the real show offers a million dollars. This show, twenty-five grand. Whatever. I'll take it. I'm not even going to bother looking anymore. If like, oh, what a, what a, would I actually have cleared if I failed that obstacle? It's, I don't care. I don't care. It's whatever. I got two days of training before Vegas. I really don't want to mess this up. I'm just trying to think. What's the best thing to work on prior to Vegas? The Sonic Curve is like the is is the big one, you know? That's that's the obstacle that trips me up the most. And I think I don't know what actually helps the Sonic Curve. The only thing I think of is maybe focus. I'm just going to put money into focus because, quite frankly, uh, I can't get 10 in two days any other way. And so I'm just going to do that. Bump that up to 93. Just spend the money because why not? Because I want this to be my last season. So why not act like this is the last season and just build up the money, build up the stats. This is my final stats for this season. Not bad. I could, I think I could easily get to 100 by the end of season five if I really wanted to. This is what, wow, season two went so poorly for me. Oh my goodness. It, wow. Man, that Sonic Curve was messing me up during training. Man, I would be at 100 everything at this point if I didn't mess up so badly in season two. You can get to 100 everything by season four, it seems like. That is really interesting. So maybe I don't need the infinite try thing if I uh, do poorly enough because I kind of, I kind of understand everything at this point. I think I do at least, and I just need to eventually have it load and. Uh, yeah, basically, I'm just going to have to focus in stage one because I've shown that I can beat stage two and three. No problem. I'm 100% of stages two and three. Stage one, that that's on a curve. And the, um, the, the flying squirrel and the log grip. 
are just three obstacles that I just need to focus on. And that pop in is, is just so amazing. Two and a half minutes is very generous. But whatever. Alright, time to focus on the long grip. The crowd is chanting, hold on tight, and he better listen to him. He's in trouble. Nuts. Oh, and he makes it. Needs oh, no. Oh, no, 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 got. no. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be bad. Little hung up here, Akbar. Really flirting with disaster there. I'm just, ma I literally, for those last two, I was just mashing A ahead of time. And it worked, so I'll take it. Okay, I need to need to calm down, take my time. Two and a half minutes, very generous, so I don't have to worry too much about the time limit, quite frankly. I only got two shots of the Sonic Curve because I messed up the log grip. So, here we go. Time to focus. Yes. Oh my goodness. The mashing method works. It has never failed me. I am so happy. All right, focus. Again, don't want to mess up. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Broken bridge should be no problem. Never failed the broken bridge. Broken bridge is a very forgiving obstacle, quite frankly. And now the flying squirrel. And we've got a minute six left. I'm just going to build up my stamina. So just to play it safe. All right. Now I got 56 seconds to build up this swing and make it to that buzzer. And it's so much easier here than it is for training for me. But whatever. This is where it counts. You know, training... Training's training. Training helps, but Vegas, this is where it counts. This is where doing the obstacles matter the most. And I've done it. I've beaten stage one again. So it looks like I'm going to be attempting the final stage because, you know, I doubt I'll be I'll fail stages two and three. I've I've yet to fail them. I know, I know, they're like, oh, you might be jinxing yourself, but whatever. I don't care. I laugh. I laugh in Jinx's face, quite frankly. Although she was a good Teen Times villain, to be honest. All right. Here we go. Stage two time. Let's do this. I believe in you, Keenan. I believe in myself. I believe we have what it takes to beat all four stages this season. This season, not season five, this season. We can do it right now. Let's do this. I forgot how long this loading screen is. <laughs> oh man, this is bad. The three-hour season finale of American Ninja Warrior starts right now. The stakes couldn't be higher for these athletes. Only the best are left. You better bring your Have I ever actually mentioned the audience? I don't know if I ever actually have, but... Uh, I mean, it's not surprising that they're low frame rate and low poly count. I mean, the WWE games do the same thing because... You know, you gotta, got you gotta save performance somehow, and they really don't don't matter that much. Who cares? At some point, you just have to go. A great save, though. After a he's got to dig deep here. Oh my! How is he holding on? I'm on the wrong rung. Some reason. Whatever. I'll take it. I'm on the wrong. I was I was legitimately on the wrong run. I was 
very I was I was distracted by that. Truly a remarkable effort. It's actually very lenient. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! Shortly after saying I've never failed the broken bridge, I uh, I do that. Good job, William. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not make that mistake again, especially in stage three, because I need all the retries I can get in stage three. So don't woo. He'll be thinking about that one tomorrow. That was scary. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Glad there's no time limit. <laughs> I mean, for the sake of being able to beat the stage two, I'm glad there's no time limit. I wish there was a time limit because it's really dumb that there isn't. But for my sake, I'm glad there's no time limit. Oh, done. All right. Whew, okay. Not as not as good as last time, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is I actually make it through. Wow. Ooh, what is going on with my mashing? Hold on. Let's let's finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong, William. Finish strong. There we go. Green like it should be. Very strong. All right, stage two completed. Ooh, okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now. Ninety-five, one fifteen, and one thirty-five. I wish the wall lift was in this too. You could have animated that, and not just the wall flip. Honestly, so I'm not crazy about the wall flip. I like the wall lift better, but that's just me. I know some people will debate that, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> okay. All right, let's... Stage three. All right. Got to be careful on that broken bridge, because apparently I can fail it when I'm being careless. And the ultimate cliffhanger and the flying bar are like the two biggest concerns devil steps devil steps can be a bit of a concern too uh just because i have failed it a few times in training nothing detrimental but yeah uh i just gotta be careful for some reason i th when i was doing the final stage last time i thought i had to hit the a button also but now it's just y and b it's like y y y b y y y b and then y y b okay it's like whatever. I'm Matt Eisman, and I'm Kemi, Stop it! I hate that. I'm, I'm just keep saying it. Cause I really just hate it. Alright. I do. I will give the game credit for one thing, and that is, I do like that you have to do all four stages in a row without any sort of training opportunities to build your stats. I do like that, because that is realistic to the, the actual show. Now, granted, having training opportunities in between regional qualifiers and regional finals aren't as uh, realistic compared to what the show actually is, but it is, I guess, I guess it is realistic compared to what the show presents itself as, so I'll cut him some slack on that. And also, it's a game. It's a video game, you know. You gotta make it easier the beginning of a season, and then you make it harder towards the end. That's just that's just game design 101. But yeah, I do appreciate that uh, you actually do have to do all four stages in a row with no ability to train in between. So that is one that is one nice thing I'll say about this game. The design of the obstacle does bother me, but still, I, I, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop reiterating that. 
Yay! I'm going to go on a little rant during my uh, rest of how much I hate that obstacle or something like that. We need more competitors talking during a stage. I feel like that's something we just need. Oh, dear. The Devil Steps are fortunately very forgiving. Uh, cliffhanger too, honestly, but just the amount of saves that you can do. And that's what that's one of the things that the focus stat helps you out with the most um, is just the ability to recover like this, which is appreciative. You lose, yeah, you know, drain through so much stamina, but this is it. The flying bar. I'm gonna do this. No time limit, which is a thematically appropriate, at least, for stage three. Wow. Yeah, that's considered early. How far ahead am I supposed to jump for the trampoline? Uh, well, I've got three attempts at this obstacle. With no, no time restrictions. I will say, I do like that you're the only person who can make it to the final stage. Which basically means that, uh, which explains why Vegas never changes. Because there's never a champion, so I'll give them that. I mean, granted, that just makes it so there's less work for them, but whatever. It, it works thematically. So I'll give it to them. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to take a moment to breathe and not mess this up. I'm not going to do any talking for the final stage. I am just going to press Y and B a lot earlier than I think I have to. You can sk Why would you skip the final stage? Why is that even an option? All right. Let's do this. Final stage. Hopefully for the final time. All right, I'm just going to stop talking, and I'm just going to focus at this point. Because i got to do this. I'm not failing the, third, the final stage for a third time. I'm not doing it. I'm not failing the final stage for a third time. This ends here and now. All right. It's game time. A 75-foot climb in under 30 seconds. Can he do it? Oh, yes! Oh, he's too cool for me. Totally exhausted. Only 10 seconds left. It just looks like he ran out of steam. Yes! 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 Oh! Oh! Yes! There was so much mashing! I did so much extra button presses. I don't care. I wasted a lot of stamina. I almost, that strategy almost blew it for me with the amount of stamina that I had. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Yes! Yes! I'm done with this game! I'm done with this game! I beat the final stage! I did it! I am an A&W champion! Thank you, Keenan! Thank you, Keenan! 
Yes! I did it! I did it! Ah! Oh, I unlocked Matt and Akbar as playable characters in quick play. I don't care. Whatever. That's cool. Their frame rate when they're clapping is amazingly poor. Of course the season's over. It's the last day of the season. I did it. I freaking did it. I beat the final stage. I'm done. It's over. It's over. Who cares? I'm looking at this right now. Who cares? Who cares? I could build up my stats if I want to. I got 29 grand right now. Holy cow. A firm $30,000 I earned last season. That's a way more than anything else. Oh, I mean, if I really wanted to, I can just max out everything else, but I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that right now. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. I finished it. I beat the final stage. I am a champion. It's over. I'm done. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to look at the credits and see the people who are responsible for this mess. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Let me tell you something. I am so glad to finally be done with this game. I, I tell you, this... God, let's let's just look at these credits, shall we? Matt Eisman, Akbar Bajabin Mel, Universal Games. These these are the people responsible for this game being made. They gave it to uh, just a notorious game publisher in Game Mill Entertainment. I mean, these were the people who literally produced Big Rigs Over the Road Racing. They published it. They're the ones who released it onto the earth and sold it for money. And I realized that me expecting better from the publishers of Big Rigs seems like a foolish idea, but like, in my defense, you would think that a company who produced that garbage would have learned by now. Years later, they would have learned to be better. But I guess the joke's on me, because this game is just, it's just bad. Like, let's just think of all the ways that this game is bad. The, the, the crashes, the fact that I can repeat the crashes of this game. I have never had a Switch game crash on me. It is so hard to crash a console game, in theory. But like, this is the first Switch game I've had crash on me. Four people from Game Mail Entertainment, two principals, vice president of business development and licensing, and director of development and production. Let's look at Gaming Core right now. How many people actually from Gaming Core worked on this game? We have three people in production, two people in design, okay, programming, one, two, three. Wow, this, this game is, there's this credits, wish they were going faster. That's it? Three programmers? Oh man, no wonder this game had issues, like, only three programmers. And art, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people on art. How many QA testers? This is big. How many, how many Q testers actually worked on this game? Uh, two? Are you serious? Two? Two people? My god! No wonder this game is such a technological mess. Besides just the game crashes, we had the game freezing on me mid-obstacle. How many times did I go off the trampoline of the salmon ladder just for it to freeze on me? So many times. We have just... The frame rate dropping on me, especially when I was on the Santa letter. That was an issue too. Holy cow, this special things is already looking pretty long. Nicole Lee, wait, is she? Uh, oh, she's the writer from uh, ANW Nation, right? Yeah, Nikki Lee, yeah, yeah. Arthur Smith, Kent Weed, they're, they're the people responsible for the actual show, American Ninja Warrior. I don't know who most of these people are though. <laughs> Kent, don't recognize those names, but holy cow, this, this special thanks section is the longest section. When you're, when you're thanking more people than the actual n number of people who, who worked on this game, that's, you got an issue. You got an issue with this game. Uh, what else, what else is wrong with this game? Um, I, I don't even, I, where else do I continue? Just from my technical issues, the, the menus, the menus, the menu navigation is trash. But what's worse than the menu navigation being trash 
is just the different ways that the menus can glitch out on you. How many times did an obstacle that I was trying to look for in the custom course creator just disappear on me? So many times, especially towards the end where I really started noticing. It is so frustrating to have a menu item disappear on you. It would, there's nothing, what are you supposed to do then? What are you supposed to do in that case? Just from a technological uh, uh, point, this game should have been, I don't know, three, six months later should have came out. It, this was not ready to be released. It needed more time in the oven, especially the Switch version. Like, I, I've seen that the PS4 and Xbox One had you know, has some issues, but just not as bad. Like the, the load times on the Switch sometimes can be a full minute long. That is unacceptable. What is the, what is it trying to load? The graphics are so low poly in this game. What is it trying to load? It, it just the programmers weren't given time to optimize the the, the engine. I, mean, I, I don't I don't know how much blame to put on on Gaming Core after seeing there was three programmers and two QA testers. It's like they probably did their best, but. It just sounds like Gaming Mill just didn't give them a lot of time and a lot of money, quite frankly, and that's just disappointing. But, I mean, just like, at the end of the day, when you... Hold on, what's this? This game doesn't work for any resemblance to any individual living or dead is purely coincidental? Hold on, no, that's it. Cut to me. Cut to me. Cut to me. Any resemblance? Really, guys? Really? Like that, that, that blonde female in the super ninja costume that I made, that, that it was not intentional to resemble a s certain female ninja competitor. You know what? Say what you will about the major universal costume that appeared, but at the very least, it looked different than what Jamie Ron wears. I, maybe I'm just completely forgetting, but I'm pretty sure Jamie hasn't worn a costume that was those shades of colors. But with the Super Ninja costume, that is so blatant that it is supposed to be Jessie Graff. You are using her likeness without actually using her likeness and not paying her. And it's a really crappy thing for you guys to do. But I talked about all the technological issues of this game, but the biggest issue at the end of the day, looking past all those other issues, is that this game despite being a game based on American Ninja Warrior, does not have enough obstacles from the show in it. You have to do six courses in a single season. And if you do a single season, all six courses, you will see multiple obstacles repeat in these stages in ways that they do not repeat in the actual show. Sure, Doing the warped wall three times, you have to do that on the show. That's understandable. You know, doing the salmon ladder in in both the regional finals and in stage two, that's okay too. But some of the things in this game is ridiculous. I have to do the salmon ladder in the qualifiers, and then I do the salmon ladder again in the regional finals, and then I do the double salmon ladder in stage two, and then... I do the Salmon Ladder in Stage 3? Stage 3 has the Salmon Ladder? Are you kidding me? And then there's the Cliffhanger. There's a chance you might have to do the regular Cliffhanger in the Qualifiers. The Qualifiers of of the City uh, Regionals. And then the, 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 the Cliffhanger appears in Stage 2! And then the Ultimate Cliffhanger appears in Stage 3! It is repetitive! Also, Stage 2 doesn't have a time limit! What the heck? That makes doing the wall flip almost trivial. It's one of the easiest obstacles in the entire game. And the fact that the wall flip is in a stage where there is no time limit completely negates the point. It, it makes Sage 2 so much easier than it actually should be. But in terms of obstacles repeating, the by far the most egregious is the broken bridge. The broken bridge can appear in the regional qualifier, and then it is guaranteed to appear in stage one, stage two, and stage three. And stage three! All the first three stages have the same obstacle. 
That is pure laziness. The obstacle doesn't even move when you do it. It's just the repeat of obstacles I think is the part that I just find most uh, offensive because even if all of the technological issues that I talked about weren't even there, I would still say it's not worth the money because there just isn't enough content. They skipped, they skimped out on you so badly. The, the, the term cash grab gets used way too often, in my opinion, when it comes to criticism and reviews, because sometimes a company, they genuinely try to make a product and it just doesn't work out or, you know, the, the, their budget gets cut or something. But this game, this, this game is the very definition of a cash grab. This was not made for fans of American Ninja Warrior to enjoy. This was purely made to get money off of fans of American Ninja Warrior based on brand recognition alone. This is low content and poorly executed low content for that matter. There is absolutely no reason to get this game. It is trash. It is garbage. It is a complete joke. This game has no right to exist. The audacity, the complete and utter audacity of this game to charge you $40 for you to buy it just to have to deal with the long, minute-long load times and the menu bugs and your character falling through the floor or maybe the cut, the QTA segments are just completely bugged and show the wrong thing or the many, many, many technological issues. The fact that they expect you to spend $40 on this trash is completely unacceptable. You want trash? You want trash? This is what I think about your game. It is complete and utter trash! Ah! 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 Trash! That's what this game is. It's just complete trash! And it deserves to be disposed of. Ah!